Welcome to Tux Explorer. I'm a tiny potato and today I'm going to be playing with some debugging just to see if I can get some log files created on things that I'm just curious about. The first thing I'm going to do is proton underscore log equals one as a launch option in Steam. You can also do this in handheld mode, just the typing is harder. And what that does is create a file in your home directory that's going to have all of the debug output. So once it's launched, I'm just going to immediately quit it and head over to Dolphin and open up the home directory. Here in the home directory, you can see steam-appid, and that'll be the app ID for your game. So I've got a couple different ones in there, and I can open it up with Visual Studio Code because it, it's a little more readable. If you don't have that, I installed it via Flatpak. It's just a little better than Kwrite. What I'm going to do now is change, rename it so that I can run wine debug and output another set of logs just to kind of compare them. With wine debug, you have a lot more options. In this case, I'm just going to include the timestamp and the relay. And the relay logs every call that crosses the DLL boundary of wine's built in modules. According to WineHQ, this is like your first port of call when you have no idea what's going wrong. It's a little bit less intense than, say, doing plus all, which creates the biggest file known to man. Here you can see side by side, the on the left you've got the proton log output, and on the right you've got the wine debug relay and timestamp. So you're getting a look at some different information there. Now I'm going to put in some other channels that we can look at. So PID, TID, SEH, debug string, and modules. Now when we run it, it's going to overwrite that one that we had last time from, um, from just the relay and I'll open them side by side again. And you can see here that it's a lot more similar. So what you're getting from ProtonLog looks a lot like the output that you're getting from this wine debug. It's just less typing. The only thing I will say is that I'm pretty sure that ProtonLog might not work with all versions of Proton. So that's a little iffy. Wine debug is just a way to know that it's going to work. Either way, I really have no idea what I'm looking at here. You can search for fix me and warn and see a bunch of stuff that has gone wrong. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link down below to all of the channels that you can use from WineHQ down below. The only thing is that some of the ones that I used here, like TID and debug string, aren't on this list of useful channels, so maybe I can find a more comprehensive list to put together. Anyway, I hope you have fun looking at logs while you're troubleshooting. Please give this video a like and subscribe for more Steam Deck content.